you can make a lot happen, that's for sure. Parnot's gonna head out here, he sees the clockwork, he knows people are coming for the gank. Um, does he ever replicate him? I don't know if he does. He's probably gonna do a replicate sometime soon here, just doing a little bit of damage. Phase boost on the clockwork, and I love he's going fast agonims. All you ever see is clockwork going mass tank, and I really don't like that. I really wish there were more like, uh, oh wow, Radiance on Doom. This is a really fun game, everybody's going weird item builds. I love Aghanims on Clockwork. All you see is tank now, and I mean, this still gives you tank. It's not like a Vanguard by any means. You don't have as much regen, and it's a little bit longer to work into the hood, but like, the 20 second cooldown on the on the hook is just beautiful. I guess it doesn't really happen a whole bunch in like, uh, you know, pro level games, because usually the Clockwork doesn't isn't alive long enough to make use of that, but just dropping some missile down, putting, which is good damage on the A and the ES, they really don't have that much HP at this point. But they're definitely doing the fighting of the units or the creeps or whatever. I wow, <laughs> both dying, not really accomplishing a whole lot, giving Doom a little bit more money. But he's gonna have a radiance really soon, and that is a result of Doom being an awesome farmer. I mean, the power treads. Look how much damage he has. Holy crap! So much damage. Getting the radiance. Here comes the really heavy push. They're gonna try to drop this. I do not know if they're gonna go for this. All right, they're gonna do doing a blink initiate very soon. Um, I like that using the the Eidolons to steal the creep CS. Like, I mean, that's a lot of gold right there that he just picked off. And I don't think they're gonna kill here. Doom going down on the Enigma, and here comes the initiate. Uh, I don't think he's gonna make it out by no any means. A taking a lot of damage from the Radiance, so Morphling TPing in. He's got the DD, but he has to BKB unfortunately, so he loses the damage bonus from the BKB. Black Hole going down. Is that a buyback from Enigma? Really good buyback. So, Morphling, where are you? Still over there, he's still at his BKB. ES barely makes it out, 10 HP. Doom is, oh, that's replicated Doom, which is, you always gotta replicate the, the Radiance Carrier. He's gonna get nuked down by these Forge Spirits. And that's about it. Clockwork is gonna hang out top. Obviously, survive the initiation on the Doom. He doesn't even realize he's here, but really good play by Morphling. Let's look at the kills. Morphling's in at 2-1. Enigma 145, it was a great buyback. I mean, why not buyback? He, he doomed. You can buy back. You can still blink in and end up really contributing to the team fight. And uh, he definitely did. He got the doom killed. And uh, that's, that's good payback. <laughs> what better way to get payback after uh, doom kills you? So, sitting with his Aghanim Scepter, I want to see an animation on anim on uh, Invoker. Please, go go Ice Frog. New animation for Aghanims. Clockwork's still Runehorn a lot, which is cool. This is a little different than the way most Clockworks are played, by all means. Um, Clockwork's just really, a, really a great hero, played by a lot of teams. A lot of teams, that's for sure. Picking, sending back the uh, the Basilius, and now he's just got the just got the Asha. I'm gonna expect maybe a Sanjin Yasha build out of him. Could definitely see that. I don't know if it's gonna pay off really hard because they have Surge, which uh, ignores all slows. So he's just gonna head mid here, and here comes the Replicate. Just gonna use this for defensive purposes. See if he can make something happen here. He's a little bit exposed. Um, if he gets initiated on, he could always doom. Yep, definitely a good time to back up there. Um, do not want to get doomed and cut out of position. So in other words, can get fed. It's about 100 gold there. And uh, let's see if the replicate goes down. Oh, that was illusion. Excuse me. And there it is. Four step on ES and uh, A sitting mid. So Pugna is sitting. By the mid, uh, he's also going to go for a possible Yules or four staff. Not completely sure. And uh, Enigma's feeling a little dangerous down here, so he's going to hide in the jungle. Doesn't even have a TP scroll, so he yeah, definitely needs to be careful. That's for sure. So just going to auto attack these, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, you kind of want them to auto attack sometimes, because then they spawn or split or whatever. So a lot going down at uh, very by right by Scourge or Sentinel second tower. Stun coming down from Fear, and we're going to have a follow up on Doom. I think that hit him very close. He's gonna go BKB next on this Doom so he can dive even harder. And uh, Dendi is picking off a USA Lula, who was A, going to do the warding, which he did not even accomplish. He got picked off by the clockwork, probably had a really beast initiate. Stun going down, but like I said, uh, there's the surge and Doom is gonna get out of trouble. He's gonna regen up because of that Vanguard. He's got his wand sitting pretty at 15, so do most of these heroes. It's a really good thing to do if you can handle it. Just keep your wand at full charges. Don't use it if you're short on mana. I do that all the time, stupidly. I'm like, why? Oh, I wish I had an extra 30 mana so I could cast more spells, even though I'm not in a team fight. I'll just pop that wand and it's really not worth it. You wanna save that and try to have it make a big impact on your on your game later. A nice stun cancel by the ES. He thought maybe there was gonna be a stun going down, but cancel it off. 
don't want to waste that mana if you can if you can afford it because he really can't afford the mana at this point all he has is force staff and it does give you mana regen but he doesn't have arcane boots or anything like that so using the replicated doom to do some nice aoe damage this will give morphling even more farm in this game and he's probably going to do a little bit of scouting with this here comes a illusion we'll see if a stun goes down Oh, yep, they're definitely going to bait that out of him, uh, but at this point they already know it's an illusion, so a little bit of mana waste on the Enigma, but not his fault, you know, it's going to happen. Um, you don't always know, and it's worth spending the mana just in case, I mean, you might pick up a kill. Most players aren't going to be that stupid, so that's why they baited it, but, you know, for all they know, they're going to black hole or something. And here's a beautifully organized smoke going down. They're going to swing top, they know this hero is here, they just saw him, but uh, he's going to play defensive, they don't know where the hell they went, and they're calling for a save. As they're about to get ganked, possibly, they're going to sit on this hill, and here it comes. Big gank going down on Doom. He is not going to make it out of here. Uh, wow, really nice decrep, followed by nice spells, and that is one super dead Doom. Initiate on Clockwork, really good plan. Blacking Bar going down on Morphling, and he's just going to say, screw this, I'm auto-attacking because you don't do anything when I have a BKB. And really nice play by PowerNet. Doing very good reaction time here. Darkseer getting dropped down as well. Really big nukes going down. Even Morphling picking off that last kill, doing the second adaptive strike of that team fight. And that's why you rush that BKB. Um, if, if Clockwork picks you off there, you BKB, you take no damage except from his auto attacks, which is a lot of damage reduction. And if Thrall ults you, or God forbid Thrall and Clockwork jump on you, you BKB and you just auto attack. It doesn't matter. So. Should I TP bot? Go. And that's important to do. You gotta communicate with your team a little bit. Sometimes they're not gonna want you. Maybe they wanna push, you know? Like, maybe they want him there to push, and he asks permission, and he's off to go. A little bit of miss CS there. Uh, but they picked up the tower there, um, did not get denied. AA is heading back, and uh, so is the rest of the team. So they picked up a tower. They got a really good team fight off. Killed to death. 11 to 8. How, like, when's the last time you saw a game that was this close by 26 minutes? Both teams are playing very solid. This is why this is the Grand Finals. These are the best two teams, possibly. I mean, I didn't watch all the other games. So for all I know, there's some very underrated team who should be here, but they're not. Uh, but, uh, yeah, definitely really well played so far. CS levels. 228 by Morphling. It's 26 minutes. He's getting, like... Oh my god, he's getting like 9 creeps, eight, 8 or 9 CS per minute, which is ridiculously high for any player basically. Very, very crazy. Such beast CS going on. Fear and the A getting support items. I mean, A is just going mass support. He really just wants the mana for his ult and does one cold feat and he's like, alright, cool, I just helped. <laughs> so, alright, cool. And uh, Orshaker is going to try to do some initiates with a blink dagger or with his... Uh, his uh, four staff, but primarily that job is going to be left up to the Enigma, putting down the beast black holes, which do go through Magic Immune. It's a very powerful ult. And Doom still does not have his BKB getting ganked, so it's very close to it. He's probably got his Mithril Hammer. Um, Pugna Illusion getting completely owned. That must have been a, I don't even think that was a replicate. And Darkseer, somebody trying to initiate there. I don't I don't know who's four staff. Why would you four staff Morphling for it? But. Yeah, very unusual, very unusual. Oh, those are the replicas from... Okay, those are the replicas from the team. And uh, PowerNet just trying to do a lot of damage with this uh, illusion as much as he possibly can. Trying to draw them away. I don't really know how useful wall replica is anymore. I believe it only works on enemies. So only if enemies go through it, they take damage. Oh man, Beast initiate on the ES. But using his force step to get out of there, surely he would have died there if he didn't have that force step. So really good play. BKB going down by somebody, probably Morphling initiating and owning that Doom. Really fast play there. Wow, really good play. Even Doom, or sorry, Pugna eating that Doom, but still making it out of there, no problem. I mean, Clockwork, if Clockwork would have gotten the ES there, it would have been a huge change in the fight. And uh, Enigma getting glimpsed out, uh, possibly looking for a chase, but uh, the Scourge team, or Sentinel team, is definitely in a really good advantage right here. And this is all because of the BKB on the Morphling. Now normally he needs a lot of farm. Usually you see like a Lincoln's followed by like a Ghost Scepter, or like a, an Ethereal Blade or a Manta or something like that, like a damage item. But this game he's just going tank. I mean he does, I mean 80 agility, he has pretty good HP. Their team is very limited to spell damage and that's why they're very behind right now. I mean, how, if he has that BKB on, how much damage are they getting? Are they doing? 
zero damage, uh, zero damage, zero damage, zero damage, and that's it's like pretty much Invoker versus Morphling, which is not going to happen. So I think that's definitely the reason that they're uh, winning this game. I'm going to say it right here, outpicked in this last game. They didn't know who to pick for the last pick. They wanted to pick a carry, um, but they they had Doom as a possibility, and they just thought Doom could possibly could really shut down. I mean, Doom is great against every single hero on the Sentinel team. But uh, it just was really not a lot of usefulness. So I'm going to say outpicked uh, so far. Uh, Dust on the Enigma. They do not know he's here. He does not want to get within tower range. I, or, I'm sorry, smoke. I don't really talk about smoke very much. Initiate. Oh, nice. That was really cool. Glyph especially immediately followed by the four staff. And good initiate by the thrall. If he can follow up with his ult. I don't oh, see it. Northland BKB. Wow, he just got a Scotty. Holy crap, doing a lot of damage with the black hole. Really great black hole by the invoker. It doesn't even matter if he has a BKB, because black hole and Scotty go right through that stuff. So wow, really good team fights going on. He's gonna chase after this clockwork. He wants this kill. He sees him there, but he's going to back out. He's not gonna chance it. God A is taking so much damage from the A could have died there from the uh, Morphling illusion. That would have been funny. Because illusions are based on stats, and his stats are ridiculous right now. They're going to chase down this clockwork. We'll see if he can get the pick off. It's going to be really close. Taking a lot of new... Oh, 386. Picking him off with the adaptive strike. Really good play. What? Did, what? Is he just joking around? Or something? <laughs> Apparently you can't force staff cancel TPs. Uh, maybe you just try to get him out of danger or something. It's just a little trick you can do. Whatever. Saving by the Observer and just getting a little bit of CS there. He's probably going to go back and heal now. He has no regen on Morphling. It's not often you see him play like this. I think he's got a bottle sitting. He must have sold this bottle, which is really it's really worth it, honestly. Uh, bottles, they do great early, but uh, late game, they don't provide a lot of heal. I mean, you can pop three charges and it only heals like 10, per, 10 or 20%, if that, of your total HP. So they definitely diminish in uh, usefulness, that's for sure. So he's going to heal up, I'll probably buy another TP scroll. Attack. He's picking up his Basilius again. Nope, selling it. Um, that's another good thing to sell late game. See, so he's definitely running out of item space, but uh, not sure. Probably going to do a Manta next. Wow, he has so much HP. Look at that. Like, using his Replicate to get in position so he can warp in and immediately pick up some CS and save his TP scroll. Wow, so much damage. 170, 180 agility, basically. Does huge damage right now, Players and once again, he's not going to take any damage when his BKB's on, so he doesn't really need a lot of strength at this point, so... It's going to be really hard for Scourge to come back from this. Uh, a lot of farming going on. I think they're just going to play kind of defensive, try to turtle this out. Uh, Darkseer's got his Vanguard and a Void Stone. I'm going to expect a... Probably a sheep stick next, uh, maybe maybe a cyclone. And Doom does have good items. Cool, Blink Dagger. It's gonna try to do some good initiates, which I think is really smart uh, against the Morphling. It's gonna be really tough to pick him off. If he's not paying attention, which is probably not gonna happen. These are very high level players. They're gonna see the kills coming. So if you got a Blink Dagger, if you can do a Blink Doom, he's. I don't even think you can pop. pop. Oh my God, good initiates. Really great Echo Slam. Nice Cyclone going down by the Evoker to try to save his team. A lot of damage being done, but everybody getting split. Clockwork misses his ult, and uh, damage going down by the Morphling, trying to slow people down, but luckily he does have his egg in him, so he's going to have a, like a 20 second cooldown on that, but unfortunately missed both targets. They split apart, and neither of them got initiated on, so Clockwork was not unable, not able to uh, do any too much there. He's going to probably do a allied hook or just start the damage off. I'm not completely sure. We're going to have to play very defensive here, doing a nice in the nice uh, vacuum initiate going down, uh, getting stunned, the clockwork is, uh, A gets waved out and then he's going to get chased down, I don't think he's going to make it out of here, blast going down, finishing off anybody trying to juke in the trees, you just nuke the whole tree line, he's got his manta, he's going to be doing a lot of damage to this Rax in just a few seconds, and it's going to be hard to defend against, against this, uh, even with a really good invoker, barely uses BKB, he's going to drop a lot of spells, but I, I wish he would do some, maybe some EMP right now. Uh, Morphling without mana is uh, worthless Morphling. And Nuke's going down on the Thrall. So much damage happening. BKB in perfect time. Going to try to get this Dark Seer, but getting picked off by the AAO ticking over just enough damage. And Doom dropping down on the Morphling. Force Staff going on, but I don't... Oh my god, he just might make it out of this. Oh, he's doing Strength Transfer now. 
even though he is